Dr. Jaffe, you've put out your protocol for reducing risk and staying healthy even as this coronavirus exposure increases for lots of folks. Will you please talk a little bit about each of the roles that ascorbate, quercetin, vitamin D, and zinc play in our protection? Uh, happy to do that, um, and I can do that, I think, succinctly. Ascorbate is the maternal antioxidant that protects your membranes, your glutathione, and it builds your glutathione. It does lots of good things, including recharge the battery, the mitochondria of the cell. So ascorbate is the central, we call her the maternal antioxidant, that sacrifices herself that all the others can be regenerated and recycled. And today, in the 21st century, we are really marinating in a sea of anti-nutrients, in a sea of pro-oxidants, in a sea of uh, things that consume the good essential nutrients that we have to take in. So our diet and supplements have to be enriched today compared to even a few decades ago. That's with regard to ascorbate. <clears throat> now in the 1930s, Albert Sons Georgi pointed out that if you wanted to get the benefit from ascorbate, you needed to have polyphenolics, flavonoids and flavanols. And we have chapters that have been invited in multiple textbooks for those who want to get into the details. And the bottom line is that there is a specific flavonoid, quercetin and dihydrate, and a specific flavanol, soluble OPC, orthoproanthocyanidin, soluble OPC, that are safer and more effective. And for decades, we have recommended them to work synergistically with ascorbate to get more benefit for the immune defense and repair system, to help the neurohormonal system stay in balance, to improve cellular detoxification and communication. In regard to vitamin D, while we call it a vitamin, it's really a neurohormone. And we know the goal range, which is 50 to 80, and we now know that many people don't absorb it well from their intestines, so they need to take it either in drops or something that they dissolve under their tongue before swallowing. Now, vitamin D, as I said, is a neurohormone. It helps cells know if they have divided enough and can stop dividing. So it's really important in cell regulation and cancer risk. And it does other things like activate part of the cellular transport to rebuild bones and joints and do the repair part of what the immune defense and repair system does. So the country is low in vitamin D. That's an opportunity to replenish vitamin D, especially with drops under the tongue or with the PERC K2D3 combination as a base on which you add what is needed to bring you into the goal 50 to 80 nanogram per ml range. And then we get to the importance of the liver being able to detoxify and get the bad stuff out. We recommend PERC Liva Guard, which is, has vitamin D in it and some CoQ10 and other liver protective nutrients and or PERC Neuroimmune Detoxifier. This was one of the first products that PERC brought out in the late 1980s. It's a triple detoxifier. So we know about phase one and phase two, but phase three has to do with the liver and the bile and keeping the toxins in the intestine where they bind to fiber and are removed from the body rather than reabsorbed from a fiber deficient intestine. So we do know how important each of these elements are, that they're essential in the 21st century. When you combine them, you have dramatically improved your host repair ability, your neurohormonal balance is better, your moods are better, your restorative sleep is more restorative, and your ability to concentrate uh, and gain energy from the challenges of your day are all enhanced. When each of the essentials that we just talked about are present, sufficient, to lower the burden of whatever infection happens to be going around, because by the way, there's a lot of infections going around, and those who are hospitable and exposed, they're afflicted. And those who follow this guidance dramatically reduce their chance 
of getting anything other than an exposure. Because we get exposed to a lot of things in our body when it's healthy. It says, oh, I know that what this is. This is a foreign invader. I'm going to protect you in the future because I recognize this as a foreign invader. I'm not going to bother you. That's what happens to healthy people. They have asymptomatic exposure. Their immune defense and repair system recognizes and becomes um, responsive. We call it autoimmunization, protective. That's a good thing. So follow this guidance, live long and well, staying with the basics, the nature, nurture, and wholeness basics that many overlook out of lack of awareness. And I had the great good fortune of coming as a skeptic, but finding people who knew a lot more than I did, and that they were able to guide me, to mentor me, to educate me. Uh, and I'm paying forward what I learned from them.